Welcome back to Kevin's Bar okay. for another episode <laughs> of Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. This is my bar. <laughs> uh, today, we're going to go back into that Four Roses lineup. This is going to be kind of a, a little bit of a different episode, mm -hmm. but a, hopefully a very fun one. So Four Roses has a standard single barrel model. Mm -hmm. And model? Eh, whatever. And it's always the exact same mash bill. Recipe. No. Yeah, That's it's the like the whole thing. Yeah. So, so they have, and we talked about this on the last episode for on Four Roses. They have ten different variants, two different mash bills, and five different yeasts. The regular standard single barrel, single barrel is always the same, and it is OBSV. So, it is the mash bill that's. 60% uh, corn and 35% rye. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a much more rye forward. And that's always at 100 proof. That's just that. They also have a... This bottle. That's this bottle. Yes. They also have a wonderful program where they will do single barrel selects for stores. Those are... They, they put in a private select. Barrel strength private... I thought it was private select. There it is. It's on the back. So private selection. So on there, one, it is usually a barrel strength pick. Two, it is any of the 10, mm -hmm. which is really cool. So you can select exactly which mash bill you want, either the 60% corn or the 70% corn. This one's the 70% corn, so this is a, a E bottle. And then there's the five variants, and you can kind of, each variant gives a slightly different note. The note that you have is Fruit? Yeah, it's the delicate fruit and creamy. Creamy, yes. Yeah. Fruit and creamy is what it says. I have another one that it is also the 70%, but it's uh, spicy notes. Or, uh, I was just like, okay, cool. So, so, this, so this one was actually a store pick from a friend of ours. Yes. He owned a, li owned a liquor store in town, and he took uh, two of his neighbors with him that are good friends of ours. They got to go up to Four Roses for the day. And when they got back, they said it was an unbelievable experience. When they got there, I think they said they already had nine or ten barrels already out waiting for them. And they already had the samples waiting. So they got to sit there and taste. And A-B test and a, yeah, go a, B through B and test. figure out which they profile they like. Nice. It was, uh, it was a good day for them. I'm sure. They, they really sure. enjoyed it. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool that they go through. I assume it, each one was a different variant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I remember when our friend came back, he, he had the whole variant like uh, memorized, memorized yeah. and all that. Yeah. I'm sure that you get, you learn real <laughs> quick as you're talking to uh, master distillers from the distillery to do, you know, to say it right. This regular bottle at 100 proof. Now this is the one, if you, you know, go online and look at most reviews, this is what they're going to review because mm -hmm. this is what is Readily available. Readily available nationwide. Mm -hmm. um, those hundred proof. The there's not a strong alcohol note to the nose. No, it's not overpowering. I mean, it's it's, it's there. there, but it's, um, it doesn't punch in the face. The rye forward is yeah. that's what I get. I get a lot of the spice notes from the rye. Yeah, thirty five percent rye is gonna gonna present a little stronger. But there's also a, a really nice sweet note mm -hmm. there. It's a it's like the that spice from the rye is there, but it's not an overpowering note. Yeah. There's a lot of sweet surrounding that. I pick up vanilla up, not coming back to the nose. That's that creamy. Yeah. The recipe. recipe. Ooh, the rye spice does come through on the on the note mm -hmm. on the flavor, but again, it's not. It dissipates pretty quickly. Yeah. It does move into a sweeter note, a cream. Yeah, there is a creamy note to yeah. that, and a very uh, rich <laughs> mouthfeel. I don't know how to say that without straight <laughs> with a straight face. Like there's a. A good amount of oil that kind of just sits there. Yeah, going back to the taste the second time and that rye, that rye right out of the gate. Yeah, it's it's a, right out of the gate. But it disappears mm -hmm. pretty quickly. There's a reason why I picked the uh, more corn version <laughs> yeah. or the lower rye version. <laughs> Either one of them, they're both going to be at least a solid amount. You're of getting rye. better with the ryes, though. I am. But at that point, when I bought when I you know when I bought my snow barrel and I bought this one, there no, that was not my thing. Oof, the longer you keep in there, it's the longer the rye. Yeah, the rye sits. And it lingers a little bit. It's not that it's an aggressive rye, but that is that initial note is very noticeable. Oh yeah. And 
if, yeah, if you sit there with it in your mouth, that's what's going to be sitting there. Once you swallow, there's more of the sweet heat. notes, the oils, the things like that really start to coat your, your mouth, and they all start coming out. Like all right, let's not finish that, that guy. Let's switch over to this single barrel. So this is going to be one more corn. Almost did it. Two. A uh, slightly different. Darker. Aged differently. Uh, that's the other thing. A lot of the single barrels, like this particular one even says, 10 years, six months. Yeah. These on average are eight-ish. Oh, much sweeter, or much lighter in the nose too. Um, okay, this will be the first time we've done like a true like AV test. Oh yeah, significantly lighter nose. Yeah. A little more, there's a little more floral note there than the rye note. You still, ooh, that one's hotter. Definitely, well, the proof for one, but. Right. <laughs> yeah. The so proof for one, but that rye. This is 110.6 from Warehouse. It's either P5 or PS. It, they give you everything. Barrel number 26-2G. I think so, the finish is smoother, it's, which is weird because it's the higher proof. It's the higher proof. I feel like this one, this one actually got a little warm, warm. Okay. This one. Nope. There's more of a caramel note to here. Yeah. Yeah, the rye, even though it's still still a decent amount of rye. I mean, what, 25% rye? It's still 20%. Decent. 20%. Okay. So it's 75 corn? 5% uh, malted barley. Five, yeah, so 20, yeah, 75 corn. Okay, so yeah. it goes from 60 to 75. Man, that is neat. All right. Let's keep these in the right order. Original single barrel, new single barrel. Rye notes. The rye notes are stronger here that... Uh, it's kind of more of a herbal tea with a little bit of a sweet note. This is so caramely. That's really what you, I'm, I'm pulling off of that. There's a lot of caramel. I know it's supposed to be delicate fruits, but that's, I get a lot of caramel off of that. Caramel, a little bit of brown sugar. Yeah. Yeah, the original, a lot more spice straight up. Ooh, that's got a little bit of an apple note in there. That's it's got more of a burn yeah. on the back end than this one does. Well, that's couple more years in the barrel yeah. should smooth out the edges, I guess is the right way to say it. Yeah, that's that's a little bit sharper, way more aggressive on the rye notes, obviously. And that, that tends to have a little bit more of that peppery herbal note. That would be an interesting taste test hmm. up there to pick this barrel. Yeah, I, I don't know. I couldn't imagine having 10 barrels 10 in front to, of you, to, and then they've got all the different yeah, versions. I wonder if they did one of each. Do they do one of each and then narrow it down, or did you, did they give them a okay? I want the seventy percent version or some guy percent. I would imagine I have to go back and ask you know Tim and Chris and Brent what they did, but I imagine they probably initially sampled, ranked them, then probably came back and says, all right, let me A B A B, and I'm sure obviously I'm sure all the rankings were were different between the three of them. Can't go too deep in the nose on that. I mean there there's <laughs> it is one hundred and ten proof. It does come through. It is sweeter. Brown sugar, caramel. Yeah, there's a, a pretty material difference on the nose mm -hmm. on, on the amount of sweetness and the amount of rye that, that comes through. Yeah, I like the nose much better on B. Yeah, I would, well, <laughs> yes, yes I do. So yeah. that's a cheat. You can smell. <laughs> smell your skin. If you want to reset your nose in between a, a smell, uh, smelling so, some whiskeys, what you do is you actually smell yourself. Mm -hmm. Your nose is most used to smelling yourself. And the place that has the least impact of scents, like touching things or deodorants or possible colognes, is your like the inside of your arm. So you do that, it kind of resets your nostrils to your normal scent. And then you can go back in and get a lot of caramel and brown sugar. I know the price on this is Summer's in the forty to fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. I want to say that's probably a little bit more expensive. I think I paid fifty to sixty bucks for yeah, it. Yeah, that would that would make sense. It's a proof. Years, uh, you know, throw all those things together. That's going to add to the cost of. I had to pay for the, the trip up there. I mean, the sample. <laughs> it's all built into it. True. They but, said pay for our friend's bar tab for the day. Exactly right. <laughs> Very solid. No complaints. 
Uh, mm -hmm. If you like any of the Four Roses, the single barrel is a very solid flavor profile. Mm -hmm. 100 proof, 40-ish dollars to $50, solid dollar amount there. It's totally, it, totally worth it. That's preferable. I'm gonna spend just a little bit more. Spend a little bit more. Take a look at the tag on the back of the tag. Each of the codes are on there and they tell you what flavors you should be getting on each one. So OESV, delicate, fruity, fresh, creamy. creamy. If you have a particular profile you like, it's right on there. You can pick which one you want and then keep an eye out. I mean, mm -hmm. each store is gonna have a different barrel, a different, you know, build, a, 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 you know, a whole, you know, which strain they picked and which uh, mash bill they picked is, you know, each one's gonna be a little bit different. You keep an eye out for the one that you really like and just keep going back for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say even at, say, well, let's just say $10 more. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth That's it. That's totally worth it. Yep. Worth the extra dollars for the extra proof and the much better taste it's, profile. Yep. The palate's better. The nose is better. The finish is better. All three for you. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay $10 extra for three better. Yeah, one of these days. I'm going to get on one of those tastings. Uh, we'll get there. Sooner or later, we'll get there. <laughs> It'll happen. Well, again, another informative uh, tasting. Yeah. Comparing yeah. the two. Standard versus a store pick. Mash bill's a little different, but I mean, I think... Totally going to throw you off. I never noticed that. On the leather, it says SB oh. for single barrel and PS for private select. Oh. Very interesting. I like that. Yeah, that's these, bottle, fancy. these bottles have the leather... Yeah, that's fancy. Leather ribbon. That's leather uh, paying attention to the mm -hmm. little details. Yep. I like that. That's very cool. Sorry. No. Where were you at? No. Was, <laughs> this has been a, a very informative episode again. Yeah. I mean, going through, I mean, kind of their methodology of their mash bills and the different recipes and then yeah. comparing kind of the go-to if you go to the liquor standard, store. Standard, And then if you happen to have a store in your area that has a store pick, again, pay attention to the mash bills. Uh, it'd be awesome to have the same mash bills, but obviously different uh, the heat. Ooh, that'd be interesting. I so, agree. Something to pay attention to. Yeah, if you've had had this different uh, mash bill, we'd love to, love to hear, hear from you. Yeah. Drop us a comment. But oh, more importantly, if you like the episode, we encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And while you're down there, subscribe to the channel. It'll help us out. Get notified. Hit the little bell icon. That'll help us out too. And yeah, leave us a comment. What's your go-to? Have you had a, a private select in a very specific bottling that that just was totally your fit your flavor profile perfectly. But yeah. Let us know. All right. Until then, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.